I don't know why that gets me so excited. I think even though, of course, I know I'm spending money, I feel like I'm saving money because of how much of a discount I get. So I don't feel bad. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So tis the season. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Tis the season because we have another haul. This is actually some stuff that has been sitting that I just haven't filmed yet. So it's not recent shopping. I don't know if that helps or not, but it makes me feel better. So I have some stuff from the cosmetics company store. I have some stuff from this little orange bag. Y'all know it's from Ulta. So yeah. And then there's some more stuff down here on the floor that we're going to get into in a minute. But before we do, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. So, you know, every time I upload. If y'all want to see what I got in this haul, you seem to love my haul, so grab a snack, stay tuned, and keep on watching. Alright, so we are going to start first with the stuff that I got from the cosmetics company store. Where did I get this from? When I tell y'all this has been sitting for a while, this was bought October 19th. So I'm filming this November 16th and I have no idea <laughs> when this video is going live. So look, it is what it is. If y'all have been watching for a while, you know, sometimes my videos are a little out of order. I get behind on what I need to film and this is one of those times. So let's go ahead and jump into it the first thing that i picked up is this bumble and bumble bb full potential hair preserving booster spray we've been talking about my hair we've been talking about it shedding we've been talking about stress and hormones i have actually been out of work since august 26th i got laid off y'all know the mortgage industry is horrible and i worked there for six years no notice pack your shit and go home I was already at home, but you get the drift effective immediately. So yeah, your girl has kind of been going through it. I've had some really tough meets. I'm off season now. Things are winding down, but my hair is still shedding a little bit. So I decided to try this. I think I got this 30% off. I have found a new job. I actually start on Monday the 21st. I wanted to start the week of Thanksgiving. I did not care. I want to start immediately. So yes. I don't care what week it is, I'm going to be there. I love working. I love feeling productive and busy, so happy about that. But yeah, don't know how well this works. So I don't sale, just decided to pick it up. Next, I picked up this Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Concealer. Mm, Tom Ford, fancy. This is in the shade 5WO Tan. I guess that's Warm Olive. Y'all already know how I feel about Tom Ford. Love the packaging love 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 this i think go ahead and open it should be a more Ooh, she might be a little bright actually that's my glam i've never tried this concealer before i did try his emotion proof concealer i don't like that one i'm saving it to do a video because i kind of wanted to do like a most expensive products most expensive face video but that one's going to be decluttered and we'll see how this one does I don't know if you guys like hearing prices or not, so let's go ahead and talk about it. Comment below and let me know if you want to hear the reason why I justify this craziness. So that concealer is $95 and I paid $42.75 for it. So half off plus another 10%. Next, I picked up this Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Lipstick. This is in the shade Lady Balls okay girl i wanted a red i feel like i'm trying to get more into wearing reds lately and this one looks like a very gorgeous universally flattering shade this is beautiful she is red red and i will go ahead and swatch her just so you can see i love the formula of these so much and that is the shade right there so I need to do a red lip. I haven't done a red lip, I think, since this time last year. I don't know what it is about the holidays, but I always feel like red lips look so good for 
Christmas holiday season, but I need to do it more often. So you will see that soon. The Too Faced lipstick I got for $6.50, regular $26. Next, I picked up the Origins Ginseng Into the Glow Brightening Serum. I've said this a bunch of times before, probably sound like a broken record, but working on my dark spots. I have not tried this before. I just finished, oh, I can't think of the name of it, but it was a, maybe Peace Out, their um, dark spot serum. I just finished that from Sephora. I think it's getting better, so I just want to keep working on it, but I hadn't tried this one, so decided to pick it up. This was, I got this for $5. Five dollars. So yes, thank you. Next, I picked up the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Hydra Foundation. I picked this up in the shade 4.15, which is skin tone dark undertone cool. I believe I have this foundation already, but it is pretty old. So in my head, I am thinking that I am going to go ahead and declutter the old one and keep the new one. I really like this. I like the coverage of it. I have worn this before. This regular price, Studio Skin Foundation, $43. I got it for $9.67. So you already know I was excited about that. So that is it right here. And it does say that it is a cool undertone, so that is supposed to be more on the red side. We'll see how it looks when it dries down, but something told me in the store that it looked like it was my shade. So for $10, yeah, we can pick up some Smashbox. This was a free gift because I was about to say, why did I pick this up? This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Longwear Matte Bronzer. This is not going to match me. I... I'm going to show the shade just so you guys can see it, but I'm not gonna swatch it because I will probably put this in a giveaway. So this is the packaging, super cute. I wish they would make darker shades. It's been long enough, they've had these out long enough. They need to go ahead and get with it because that's ridiculous. I can't even open this. Maybe that's a sign I shouldn't, my nails. So this is what it looks like right here. This ain't bronzing me. If anything, this might be like an under eye setting powder or something like that, but I'm gonna put it, close it back up, put it in the box, and this will probably go in a giveaway. Next, we have another lip color. I hope these were like on sale or something, and that's why I bought them, because I haven't bought lip colors in a while, but this is the Bobbi Brown Crushed Lip Color. This one is in the shade Supernova. No, I do not remember what it looks like. I think it might be, okay, so this is the packaging right here. Looks like it might be another red. Ooh, yes it is. So we're gonna put it down here to compare. So that is what it looks like right there. A little lighter, and I don't know if it's just the formula or the color is actually a little lighter, but I think that is so pretty. And how much did we pay for her? That was also free. <laughs> I don't know what was up if there was a sale happening at the store that day, but I feel like I racked up. So I'm happy about that. Next, I picked up the Smashbox Color Correcting Stick. I have never tried this. It says, look less dark, look less tired dark color correcting stick. So let's go ahead and swatch her. This is basically just a color corrector like you would use an orange concealer, but in a stick form. So this is what it looks like. I think this would be really good to travel with. I might have to put this in my travel bag. So hopefully you will be able to see, let me swatch her right here. Oh yeah, you can see that. And she is definitely orange. I hope you can see that. I'm gonna put this in my travel bag because I do not have a color corrector in my bag. And I like the idea of this. She cost color correcting stick $6.25, regular $25. Next, I picked up the Bumble and Bumble BB Hairdressers Invisible Oil Conditioner. This is just a oil conditioner that has feather light oils to help soften, silk, and tame, defrizz, detangle, and protect. It is for dry to very dry hair. I do believe I have one of these upstairs already, but... 
grabbed it back up. I plan on using this for my hair, but I think I can also use it in my curly wigs. I would definitely use it for that. Y'all, I got this for $5. This is regular $35. I don't know why that gets me so excited. I think even though, of course, I know I'm spending money, I feel like I'm saving money because of how much of a discount I get. So I don't feel bad. I picked up a MAC Love Me Liquid Lip Color. I absolutely love these. I love the formula of these. I picked this one up in the shade Defy Me, and it looks like it's another red. This is regular $26, and I got it for $6.50. This packaging is absolutely gorgeous, and it is another red. Ooh, if I thought this would go with my look, I would put it on right now. I guess I kind of want to keep them close together, but who knows how many I actually have in this bag. Because how many reds do you need? When you don't have any, apparently you need, there's more. So <laughs> apparently you need all these. So that's the shade right there. You can tell this one is definitely matte. This one has a little bit of a sheen. This one is not 100% matte, but it will dry down. So, you know, you got to try different formulas when you're trying something new. Next, I picked up the Origins No Puffery Cooling Roll-On for Puffy Eyes. I love stuff like this for first thing in the morning, especially after a night when I have had a couple drinks or I've had a bunch of salty food and I wake up and this under here is super, super puffy. So this is a roll-on cooling under eye serum cream. What do we want to call this? It says treatment. Formulated to instantly hydrate parched skin around the eyes and its cooling tip helps to depuff. So this is what it looks like and it's actually a liquid. I don't know if you guys can see that moving around in there, but the tip of it is actually a metal roller ball. So definitely can see how that would be cooling on the eyes. This actually cost $31 and I also got this for $5. So I picked up another MAC lipstick. This one I believe I have and I'm going to throw out the one I have and use this one. This is the satin lipstick in the shade Paramount. I love this shade and I know the other one I have is bad because it does not smell like a MAC lipstick anymore. So we know what a MAC lipstick smells like and once that smell is gone, that means she has probably turned. So this is also another red, but it is a little bit darker. And we'll put her right here. So yeah, that one you can see is more of like a burgundy than it is a true red like these others. But I love this shade for the winter. I love this smell of MAC lipsticks. Am I the only one? Let me know what y'all think about that. But yeah, I decided to pick this one up to replace the other one that has expired. Oh, and that one was, that one was $5. And this one, the next one I'm going to talk about was $5. This one was also $5. So yeah, they were being very generous with MAC. So the next lipstick that I have is also from MAC. And this is in the shade Double Fudge. This one is a matte. She is a chocolate brown, which is perfect. For this time of year, I just could not pass her up. Oh, look at that shade. I want to put that on right now. Oh, I'm so tempted. I'm not, I'm going to put it to the side because I think I am going to put it on. But gorgeous chocolate brown shade. Gorgeous for the winter. Then I also got one of their Powder Kiss lip colors, which I've never used. This is devoted to chili and it was also $5. Oh, I started to say this is like, um, what's the other one I love? Topped with Brandy Retro Matte or something like that. But this is not the same because it says Powdered Kiss. So what's the difference? The applicator is different. This kind of has that curvy figure eight doe foot. And then we'll put that one right here. So this is another red. It's kind of thick. I guess I can see why it says powder because it's almost like a mousse is what that feels like. But hmm. Another red, five bucks, you can't beat it for a high-end lipstick. And then the last product I got, which I feel like I have this, I'm gonna have to double check, 
This is the Smashbox Lid Primer, Photo Finish Lid Primer in Light. This was $22 originally, and I paid $5.50 for it. I'm going to open it to show you the packaging in case you're wondering what that looks like, but I'm not going to open it because I'm not sure if I have this already or not. I don't think I have this shade. So I might have got it because it's lighter and I think it would be great to do a cut crease. But if I have this shade, it'll probably go in a giveaway too. So we're gonna put her off to the side. So yeah, for all of those products that I just showed you, I paid $142. I feel like that was very much so worth it, a steal for all the high-end stuff that I got. That is why I am absolutely obsessed with going to the cosmetics company store when I decide to take a little trip up to the outlets. Next, we're gonna take a look at what I bought from Ulta. I don't have a lot of stuff, so this shouldn't be too bad. The first thing I got was this Lanza Keratin Heal Healing Oil, and this is a hair treatment. It is basically a ultra healing blend of keratin protein and Phyto 4 complex combined to leave hair incredibly soft and smooth with a healthy radiant shine, ideal for all hair types. I love hair oils. I have an issue with anytime I put product in my natural hair, it immediately feels like it's too heavy and it's weighed down. My hair is fine, even though I have a lot of it. So I'm always on the lookout for hair oils when I can find them. I don't think I bought this in store. I did not. So I don't know. I got that online during one of the sales. I believe it was half off, maybe more, but I don't remember. Next, I picked up a shampoo and conditioner. I do remember these were half off. This is the IGK Payday Instant Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. I have never tried this. These bottles are so small. And these I did pick up in store. These are regularly $31 a piece, and I got them for half off. That's crazy. $30 for this little bottle of shampoo and $30 for this little bottle of conditioner. Anyway, it says that this has clinical breakage protection and it makes your strands 11 times softer. So I don't know how true that is, but we will find out. It has a bond building technology. Who knows? This is a great brand for hair care. So half off is the perfect time to try something new. I also decided to pick up this Topics hair filler in dark brown. I have never tried this. And I got it because I was thinking about, like sometimes in the front of my hair, especially when I just put a relaxer, I hate how thin it looks. It's super smooth, but I hate how thin it looks. So I thought I would try this just to kind of fill it in, make it look fuller, wondering also if it'll help cover grays. So yeah, never tried it, but I think I got this for half off as well. I have another IGK product. This is the IGK Cash In Instant Repair Serum. So Another repairing hair product. This says clinical breakage protection, 11 times softer hair, split in sealing, and also a heat protectant. Can't go wrong with a good heat protector. Last thing I picked up from Ulta is this healthy hair probiotics. I have been taking hair vitamins. I've been using Nutrafol. I've been using the one by Bondi Boost for anti-thinning. I also just recently picked up the Bosley version of the female hair regrowth system. I'm just trying to get my hair back as big and healthy as possible. So I've made hair vitamins a part of my routine. This says it's a powerful blend of probiotics and nutrients that support healthy, healthy, full, and thicker looking hair. So put it in the cabinet. I probably have enough for the next six months, if not more. So... Stuff like this, I always try to grab when I can find it on sale. Most of this stuff in this box, make sure my address ain't showing, <laughs> is nails. But there are also a few other things, so I'm going to go through those first. Um, I think I got this from Marshalls. I'm not sure. TJ Maxx, something like that. TJ Maxx. This is the Michael Kors Sexy Amber. I have several Michael Kors fragrances. I love Michael Kors. I got a bunch of bags, got a few watches. I don't know what it is about that brand that has me in a chokehold, but it is too real. I love amber smelling perfumes and I bought the Michael Kors Gorgeous perfume, but I realized I wanted the Super Gorgeous instead and the Super Gorgeous has more of a amber 
amber note in it, I guess, is what the salesperson explained to me that was different. I got the regular Gorgeous perfume for like 60% off. And then I realized it wasn't really what I wanted, but I still like it. Don't get me wrong. So then I saw this for $27 and I was like, you know, you can just layer them and that still costs less than buying another bottle of the Super Gorgeous. So that is what I did. And I love the smell. Like back in the day, Victoria's Secret, whatever that amber one used to be, I can't think of it, but I see it. That was my favorite. So this smells so good. I feel like right now I have on a Dossier fragrance. It is the... Fruity Oak Moss, hold on. Yes, Fruity Oak Moss, which is their version of Creed for Women, smells so good, but I'm gonna see. I don't normally layer, but let's just see. I'm gonna let this sit for a little while, but I love how this smells. And I think it will do exactly what I wanted with the Gorgeous Perfume to make it smell like the Super Gorgeous. So had to pick this up. I guess I knew what was coming. I decided to pick up this little or lipstick organizer because I don't have any more room in my lipstick holders. And this was on sale at Ulta. I don't remember how much it was, but I picked it up and it is gonna come in handy because I just bought all these lip products. I have one item. Oh, I have another makeup item. I forgot about this. So I finally decided to pick up the Makeup Forever HD Skin Palette. I have not even used this. And I don't know when I bought it, which is absolutely nuts. I picked this up because I saw a lot of reviews. You can only get this on Makeup Forever's website, but I was too intrigued. It is all cream products and it comes in this case. This is definitely gonna go in my travel bag because I can also do other people's makeup with this. There's a color corrector and then there's different shades that you can mix and match. There's also a highlighter up here and then these blush colors, contour, all of it. So I think this is gonna be perfect for travel and it'll give me options of when I'm traveling, if somebody asks me to do their makeup, I have something on hand to be able to do it. Next is a body care product. This is the Parisa. Never heard of this brand before, but I guess it was on sale because nine times out of 10, that's why I buy stuff. This is their face and lip wax strips. Y'all, I haven't waxed in a very long time. I will pluck. I will go do laser. But sometimes for the stash, I feel like just using my little trimmer, like it comes back too fast. So I decided to try this because I've never done laser on my top. I've done on my lower half. I've done laser under my arms. And I've also done it on my bikini line and also on the back of my legs, trouble areas. So decided I'm going to try this for my upper lip. We'll see. We have two. I have two eyelash products that I picked up. These were on sale at Walmart. So yeah, this is just a hodgepodge. I am realizing. But these are Magnetic Mega Hold Liner and Lashes from Ardell. I picked these up because instead of having... I don't know if you guys, if you've worn lashes that are magnetic in the past... Usually these have just like four or five anchors on them, but this actually has, you can see here on the back, it says the difference, the full band is magnetic. So these should be able to stick better. These are pretty natural looking wispy lashes, so they should be pretty easy to put on, but I had just never seen lashes that have the full band as the magnet. So I was super intrigued and I believe these were on sale. Now we get into the nails. So I picked up from Color Street. Y'all know I love my nail strips, especially when my natural nails are behaving and they're long. So I picked up, y'all, I know I normally just buy a bunch of the ones that I like because some of this stuff is seasonal. Yeah, so I only picked <laughs> two different ones, but I got four of each, yeah. So the first one is in Chrome It Down, and I hope you can see that. It's this gorgeous blue kind of watercolor, absolutely gorgeous. And I feel like I love to get these because I can't always find nails with this type of design. These are just strips, completely 100% nail polish strips. Stick it to your nail and you're good to go. I always do these right before bed so that I don't have to wet my hands. They can dry overnight 
or I should say adhere overnight because it's already dry. And then this other one is a purple, it looks kind of flowerish, but it's a camouflage. This one is called Glad You Camo. And yeah, purple, blue, camouflage, multicolor. I am all over it. I will have a link down below. Um, if you're interested in these, my rep is Latoya Pope Cummings. Absolutely awesome salesperson. She always lets me know when there are new ones out. She has a Facebook group and she does games and sends out free products all the time. So I will link that down below if you guys are interested in checking it out. Not affiliate, just somebody that I thoroughly support, clearly, a lot. I picked up a bunch of nails. I bought these from Sally's. They were buy two, get one free. So there were a bunch that I hadn't tried. Some brands I haven't tried, but I lost my mind. So I'm going to just tell you that right now. I'm going to run through these real quick. I got some Dash Dashing Diva Magic Press. I got short and long. So hopefully these colors show. I feel like sometimes my lights wash it out. This is a purple. Um, it's actually very light, but it's purple and pink kind of ombre. Oh, I hope you can see these. Probably not. I feel like that just looks clear from what I can see. But purple and pink ombre. This is a short one. This next one is purple and pink as well, but it has pink with glitter at the top and then like a purple kind of French ombre design. I hope these are coming off. My lights are so bright. I know you can kind of see it back here, but I just want you to get the full effect up close. This one is short and it is, do they have names on it? Oh, they do. This is in magnetic field. So the first one I shared was inner piece, the short pink and purple. Then the longer pink and purple was lilac ice. Then I also got magnetic field, which is gray and gold. So it's kind of like cool tones and warm tones together. So that's what that one looks like. The next one is also short called pink passion. And guys, you can wear these colors whenever you want. I do not just do like, oh, this is spring wear and in the spring. I wear what I want when I want. This next one, ooh, these are so pretty. These are long, they're coffin. This one's called Pretty Glitz. So it's purple with purple kind of marble and then a glitter silver accent. So that is what that one looks like. And I love that these all have the glue tabs, so they're easy to put on and easy to take off without damaging my nails. I got a backup of that last one you just saw. And another one, y'all know purple is my favorite color, so got a few of those. And then I also got two backups of Lilac Ice, which is the purple um, French ombre with the pink accent. Oh, I've worn these. <laughs> this is another long one in blush hour. So it is a pink kind of half and half. I don't know what you call this design. Y'all don't know this stuff. Then a regular pink shade and then pink with glitter in it. So super, super cute. I'm normally not that much of a pink girl, but something's been up. So I've been going with it. I also got just some nail tips. I like to wear these whenever I want to wear my nail strips when my nails aren't long enough. These are just a, they say they're short, but this is not short. I think I got this from Ulta or Amazon. I do not remember, but this is what they look like. I have square ones and I tend to like the coffin kind of shape more or whatever. This is ballerina. I have no idea. Coffin. Yeah, maybe coffin. Stiletto's the point. These are not pointed, but super cute. You can paint these. I have a lot of multi-chrome nail polishes, so I will put these on and then paint. Just something different. We got some more. Almost done. Nail Bliss. Now, I have never tried this brand, and these are glue-on. I don't know why I bought so many of these, because I don't like glue-ons. I feel like they pop off a lot easier, but the colors got me. This one is purple, and then it has like a purplish, bluish kind of mirror chrome and then this glitter accent is so so pretty i think i just got one of these nope i got two of these is this the same 
No, they are not. So one is called Cyber City, which is what I just showed you, and the other is Lilac Prism. So very similar, but they are not the same. This one I picked up from Walmart. This is the LA Colors Nail Frill High Gloss Neon. Look at how gorgeous this is. It is like an orange with pink and yeah, these are like two, three dollars. Not expecting a lot out of them. These might be a pop on one day and pop off the next, but they are glue. So you gotta be aware that if you want these to last a long time, you kind of have to rough up your nail surface first. And I don't love that a lot. So I don't glue very often. This was also from Walmart. This is their modern art, no nail tech needed. This also has glue trying to find the shade name of this one but I do not see it I don't know but so so pretty this is also more leaning for spring if you care about the colors but it is just that watercolor kind of streak of paint design I guess kind of makes sense I just like stuff that looks different because I don't do my nails at the salon at all so thought these were really pretty something different these next ones, super, super cute. These are the Salon Perfect Mirror Effect Magnetic Collection. So these, I hope this color shows. So initially when you look at it, it looks purple, but when you look at it from a different angle, it almost goes like multi-chrome kind of green. I'm gonna try to show. So that's the purple. And I don't know if you guys can see the green. It's too far away for me to see, but yes. Anything multi-chrome that shifts, absolutely love, and I'm going to pick it up, and I hadn't seen those before. I also picked up this from Walmart, two products from Walmart. We got some makeup items in here still. This is the Hard Candy Color Liquid Eyeliner. It also says it, says it has a Lash Boost Serum in it. I guess this is supposed to kind of be like the Physician's Formula Serum that I love. See how hard this is going to be to open. I picked this up in purple just because I wanted to try something different. I hope it's dark enough because a lot of times I feel like with these, they're kind of, I don't know, it ain't bold enough. So hopefully this one will not be like that. I think this is super cute. I love how it has like the stiletto pointy top. Let's hope she is dark enough. Pull it off. Yes, pull it off. And hmm, not bad. It is purple and it is a brush tip. It is a brush tip. It almost kind of looks, it's shiny. It is not matte and it looks like it has a little glitter in it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I hope so, but super, super pretty. So better than I expected, especially from Hard Candy. I picked up a Black Opal True Color Stick. I have been using my Minted Foundation Stick a lot. I feel like these are really easy to put on. They blend out, but they dry down. So I feel like it's less work than doing a liquid foundation, but a little more coverage than a powder. I picked this one up in the shade Nutmeg. So this is what the packaging looks like. Pretty simple, but let's see what the shade looks like. I'm gonna put it on this side. That looks like a really good shade match. My one that I got from Minted is a little tiny, tiny bit too olive, but that, Go ahead, Barbara, picking your right shade. Who am I? Okay, I think this is gonna be good. So I'm gonna have to try this in a video so you guys can let me know, because you always do, if the color is good or not. But I think that's gonna be a winner. All right, back to the nails. So these two are the same. These are another pair of the Nail Bliss, pink and purple with a purple and pink and white kind of watercolor, yeah. Yes, had to have it. So I got two of those, same thing. These were very different. I don't normally do super dark like black nails, but these are also by Nail Bliss. These are black, but the accents have different color, almost kind of like that smoky watercolor effect. 
So it's yellow, pink, and purple, then purple, blue, and green. I just thought these were pretty and they were different. I definitely will be cutting them. These look very, very glam. I hate that these don't say, oh, these say moody marble. So this is kind of like a dark blush nude. This is a nude, this is more of kind of like a coppery kind of burgundy, but this marble on the white is so stunning. It has gold and brown. So I thought this would definitely be more of a glam kind of nail situation versus an everyday. Absolutely gorgeous. Three more, stay with me. This one is in pink gold. Pretty much says what it is. Pink with gold ombre, pink and gold kind of, I don't know what you call swirls, I guess. <laughs> I'm so bad at describing this stuff. But again, kind of glam, but I think I could wear these for more of just the everyday. This is another fun pair. This is in Energy Citron. I think that name does it justice because this is an orange ombre, then pink and orange ombre. And then the designs here are pink with gold accents, but I thought these were an absolute must have. And then last but not least, these are just extra long, so they will be extra cut, but these are Darling Dreamer. I just thought this was the most gorgeous nude pink and it has marble in it. Too, too cute. So had to have these and your girl does not need any more nails anytime soon, and I'm proud of myself because I have not been buying any. All right, guys, that is it for this haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment below, let me know what you think. Do you guys wear press-on nails? These are another pair of press-ons. These I actually like because they are the glue tab, so I don't have to do anything with them. Just pop them on right before I go to bed and let them dry down, dry down let them adhere without getting them wet they last a bit longer so that is what i do for my nails anytime y'all see my nails it is not the salon it is me i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up comment let me know what you saw that you liked favorites what you didn't like because y'all tell me that too i just want to interact with you so anything is appreciated you guys are always the best Thanks for watching this video. I hope you decided to join the family if you're new and I will see you in my next one. Bye.